Welcome, I'm Jeff. This is Whiskey. Let's crack on. So here I am doing my second review. It wasn't one and done, it's now two, but with no clue. The comments were mild positive, so thank you for that. So I decided instead of going out on that high, I've decided to do a second attempt and try crash into the ground. As you will have seen, this video has a really clickbait title and that's mainly due to the fact that I've made one video and I've already sold out. But also in my view, this is the best Johnny Walker that I've ever had and it's the best by a long way. And if people watch my videos, they may get a bit annoyed thinking, no, Johnny Walker Black's the best, Johnny Walker Double Black, Johnny Walker Red, Johnny Walker Blue. I know Anthony from New Dram Drinker absolutely loves Johnny Walker Blue and the thought of me putting green label instead of blue label, he'll be steaming at the ears. Make sure you do check out their channel because currently they're doing all sorts of great things for charity. Anyway, I made even less notes. I'm even less prepared. I've not even switched the light on. But here is my review of Johnny Walker 15 year old green label. Right, let's start with the experience of this bottle. As you can see, it's a good looking bottle. You may not be able to see it on the camera, but there's nice dark green elements, which as you can tell, I'm a fan of. It's the green and gold, looks really smart. You've got the little Johnny Walker chap at the front. What more do you need? 15 year old age statement. I think there's a couple of wards that is one down there, but it's a really nice looking bottle. And the fact is, unlike the Johnny Walker Red, Johnny Walker Black, this one comes with a cork. And this one hasn't broken yet, but there is still time. However, all in all, this is a really good looking bowl. Johnny Walker is such a notoriously well-named brand, it's got to be four out of six. Now to the actual whiskey inside, let's see what the nose is like. Straight away, it's very malty, it's very full. There's lots of Lots of green, like fresh green apples, uh, cut grass. It's nice, fresh, kind of floral, very fruity. It's definitely even a little bit sweet. Um, there's, yeah, sweetness at the back, almost brown sugar. And the more you smell, the more you can kind of get that peat, but it kind of rounds it off. It's not a strong smoke. It's not like dirty Isla, oily, kind of slap in the face peat but it's kind of balances with the soft fruitier noses at the front. Overall, it's a really nice, pleasant nose. So for that, it's gonna be getting five out of six. Now to actually tasting the whiskey. Cheers. Again, it's got the sweet green fruits at the front. There is a little bit of like brown sugar mixed in with more savory notes. It's very light and floral, but it's got lots of different flavors coming out. So I'm gonna have to go back in. It's light and floral, like with the nose, but there is this slightly heavier, savory, creamy peat nose at the back. That kind of, it helps characterize it because apart from the peat notes, it's quite thin and it feels quite watery for the texture, but there's enough flavours to go around to give it some severe complexity to it. There's almost a little bit of citrus, a little bit of sharp lemon, and that kind of turns from sharp lemon to sharp bitter chocolate, and it does hang around a little bit. I've had this a couple times now, and it's it does. There's a real nice, pleasant, peaty, yet fresh aftertaste for it. It does hang around. The taste is not bad at all. It is the thinness that lets it down. So overall this gets a three out of six. Right, on to value for money. So I picked this bottle up for 28 pounds. However, I did some research before this video. It tends to be 35 pounds at the moment, between 30, 35, occasionally I saw it for 38. So I would say 33 pounds is a good price for it. Anything less is worth getting. Anything more, I think is starting to get a little bit more pricey. You are paying for the Johnny Walker name and the, the logo and the branding and all the advertisement they do, but it is a good dram. 
and for that, for value for money, especially if you can get it below £33, I would say it's a 4 out of 6. Therefore, the total score for Johnny Walker 15 year old green label is 16 out of 24. Not a bad bottle at all. It's not in the lofty 20s, but it's solid, it's well over half, and it's definitely a dram that I would recommend you try. Let me know what you think of it. If you think Johnny Walker Black's better, if you think Johnny Walker Blue's better, let me know, and it'd be great to discuss which one you think's the best Johnny Walker. So all in all, feel free to find me on jeffwhiskey.com, Jeff Whiskey on Instagram. Stay safe, all the best. Cheers to the next one. Nice.